Hi guys, this is Toy Spin on the Xbox here, and have you ever wanted to change the boot logo for Windows 10 and 11? Well, there's a special hack called HackBGRT to do that. But but there are a few prequities first. First, go into System Info, and then check whatever BIOS you have, and you need the UEFI hit. Now that you will need secure boot off, and the, and you have to turn out from the BIOS. So, so you, to access it from Windows, you can go to the system. Um, then troubleshoot, and then other troubleshooters. Actually, maybe not. Wrong one. Back here. Recovery. It's recovery. And then... Then go to advanced startup. Restart now. It'll restart. It'll take a while as well. And this will then reboot. Then load in here. Then click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and UEFI firmware settings. That will take you to, and then restart. The PC will then restart into, into here. I have a virtual machine, so 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 the boot manager will instead open up. But. But you build all open up in a different to so UEFI depending on which computer you have. But now I can just but boot no so I'll just boot normally. All right, so that's all. And now you're ready. So go into the HackBGRT GitHub page. There'll be a link in the description. I'll just and here releases HackBGRT and then HackBGRT 1.5.1, which is currently the latest version as of recording. When you've downloaded that folder, you can extract it. I've, I've already extracted it. So open it and then click on Setup. Next. And then it'll tell you a few more things. Ha Press I. Obey this will happen. And then we have image path. Just remember that. And close it. We don't need to add anything. And a splash.png. Now, if we go. Now, to set the splash to our custom. Well, we open it up in paint. Or whatever edit image edit editing program you currently have. And then click on file and save as. And click on PNG. And, and this is important. You have to select it as a 24-bit bitmap image so I'll, I'll just save it back onto the desktop as well and then there's a second one here and just to know if you want any transparent 
part, so you have to fill it with solid black. And maybe if we can, we can scale it down. To around 100 by 100. Around here. And I'll, then I'll save it again. Let me see. Yep. Oh wait. <laughs> Up. All right. Now, if you want, now to now you go to save as. I need to go to save as, and then go to this PC. Your you may now realize that a new disk drive has opened up and if you open it normally without anything so let me head over and just open up a new windows explorer window that you it's not there and if you press win and if you run it you can't go you can't you can't press a you can't you can't go to it even though you saw that underneath the box it said that. So go into your local disk or or the A drive or whatever you set or whatever it set itself. EFI, hack BGRT. Now do not uh, change any other. They are, they, they, they have to be core, they are core UEFI files or BIOS files. Changing, changing or deleting them may cause an immovable computer. And then there's hack BGRT. We then click on this. And then you then copy it and then paste it and then quickly F2 and must be splash. The first splash I can delete. And then rename it to just splash. I think that's how you type splash in. There we go. So right, and now you can close the window, and have BGRT is now is now installed. So now you can just reset. So now when you restart your computer, this may take a while, just like last time. Wait a minute, that's the wrong logo. <laughs> but at least it worked, let's just say. <laughs> let's just say it worked, not, <laughs> it did not intendingly worked. But it worked. <laughs> this way while I try and figure out what, is it, what went wrong. Okay, it now should be working. So let's restart. So if it restarts, yep, 
the image is now there. It'll just take a while. All right. Now, and now just for the final part, just for extra customization if you want. And it is just extremely optional. Just to improve further customizability, you can use Winera Tweak and enable the 10x style. Oh wait a minute, that's it. Yeah, you can enable the Windows 10x boot animation. So now if I restart. Yep, and now you can see that there is now the new boot logo or circles. Alright, I've just got one last thing that I still need to prepare. Be right back. Alright, so now I've realised that I've added a, a newer splash. So let me just quickly mm, file explorer downloads hack me GRT is that yes oh wait I then then the image will still pop up delete this splash and I'll go replace it with this splash so so quickly I'm also going to delete this as well since I won't need it let's also copy this one and then paste it in here and replace it so now once I restart this is just something that I just wanted to do. Since I quite miss the starting windows in Windows 7. Actually. Oh, wait a minute. Not done. Alright, now it should work. Restart. Yes, now it's there. Uh, <laughs> if I added the logo, that would have been w way better. But I'm not going to do it now. But I believe now this is it. This is a nice... Whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know. Hack? I'm just gonna call it hack. That allows you to change what you want. The main boot logo, what you want. So I guess let us shut down for now. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.